It's been more than one month since Herlina received the COVID-19 vaccine in Indonesia. For her, it was more than just a medical trial. It was a humanitarian act. My motivation is just being just a human being. I want to be benefit for others. And if it can be benefit for uh, this health and this pandemic, then why not? Uh, I do it for humanity. It took some time before Herlina agreed to volunteer. But ultimately, she says her participation is a dedication to the thousands of frontliners who risk their lives in hospitals across the nation. The benefit of this trial will be more important than just my fear. Just like Herlina, the government is pinning their hopes on this vaccine. It's developed by China's Sinovac Biotech and will be distributed by Indonesia's state-owned pharmaceuticals Biopharma. More than 2,000 volunteers received the vaccine, and now all of them will be closely monitored for the next six months. If these trials prove to be successful by the end of the year, the government will be ready to immediately produce 250 million doses annually. Sinovac agreed to supply 40 million doses from November 2020 to March 2021. The cooperation itself will be valid until the end of next year, where Sinovac is committed to provide Biopharma priority access to purchase the vaccine in bulk. By January 2021, we hope to get the analysis from the Phase 3 trials. This includes the safety of the vaccine, the immune response from the antibodies, and the efficacy. Our hope is by February we can start to distribute the vaccine. The clinical trials will still go on by then because we will only have obtained the interim analysis. Nanny expects the entire trial to be finalized by September 2021. It's becoming a race against time as Indonesia continues to struggle with rising COVID-19 infections. This vaccine is the only glimmer of hope for the country amid the global pandemic. Sulkina Aluwalia, CGTN, Jakarta.